Permafrost is super cool. Did you ever think you would say that? No. Are you ready for a big adventure? Going to a place that not very many people have ever been, ever, or seen. We are going up to Alaska right now to spend some quality Father's Day time with my father-in-law, with Lincoln's grandfather. Thanks to our friends at 23andMe for sponsoring this trip. We're gonna show you what the heck is permafrost. Let's go! Permafrost, what is it? Have you ever heard of it? Have you ever seen it? I'm driving on a road right now that has a lot of permafrost. Every year, this road warps differently and they have to fix it because of all this bumpiness right here. Oh, 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 ah. Ah, take it. We caught air on that. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry to my in-laws for doing that in your car, <laughs> but it was fun. That is permafrost. The ice is melting in the dirt under the ground and that's seeping out of the ground. And as that happens, the ground moves different positions and it warps the asphalt differently. And there's not much you can do because it freezes up every year. We're gonna go to a unique place that not many people have been to before. The permafrost tunnels that the army owns and they've let us have exclusive access that lets you see millions of years of life in the permafrost. In fact, this is a place that even if you wanted to go to, you wouldn't be able to get into. We're here right now at the Permafrost Tunnel Research Facility, and it's run by three organizations. Army Corps of Engineers, Cold Regions Research and, and Engineering Laboratories. Yes, and then also UAF, University of Alaska. All right, this is the moment. We're going this in, is guys. It. There's the mountain. There's the door. We are officially in the tunnels right now, right here in this first section, in the first little entryway. This is where the majority of the bones are. All these bones are just left here. So they have found all kinds of bones. Like there's a big old bone right there. I don't know what that is. Do you see that bone? We it's a bison bone. A bone from a bison. Whatever that, however you say that type of bone, that's what it is. 14,000 years old. <laughs> so old. What do you think this is right there? Look at this bone. It's a big one sticking out of there. It looks like a tusk. That's a horn from a step bison. How many years ago do you think this thing was extinct? 14,000 years ago. What do you think? Lincoln is exactly right. We just got confirmation from our scientific expert. 14,000 years ago, there was a river that came down this area. Maybe dead animals were floating in the river. They got ditched right here. The ceiling is just brown right now. This is like finer than having a sand beach over our head. Lincoln, what do you think? How's it feeling here? It's cold. It is very it's, it's cold. My cool. face is cold. It's about right now. 25 degrees in here right now. It smells funny. Do you know what the definition of permafrost is? Um. Do you know what the definition of permafrost is? Permanently frozen ground. After it's frozen for two years, then it qualifies to be permafrost. So pretty simple. This looks so cool. I can't believe we're in this tunnel under the ground that's been frozen for this many years. There's right. ice above our heads. Ice. It's Big just, old. just massive ice. This is 11,000 year old ice right here. And it wet, it goes all the way around. And you can see where scientists have been drilling holes in it. And they actually have been able to find bacteria that once they unthaw it, it comes alive. Like What? Yes, it comes like alive. Jurassic Park? Like Jurassic Park with the amber and it comes alive. Pretty much that. They haven't found dinosaur things, but they've found like different things. This is an ice wedge. Where it's white there, that's where it has thawed and frozen again. This is the main culprit for why the ground moves so much. In the fall, when things are kind of drying up, the ground gets cracked in it. But then the water, it gets down in those cracks and then it gets frozen over the winter. And then once it freezes again in the next fall. It's just gonna get wider and wider and yes. wider. So you think of like over thousands of years, this crack is just gonna keep growing and growing and growing. Right behind me, you can see some permafrost in action. You can see this water is just settling on here. This is going to seep into the ground, into the cracks, and it's going to freeze. <laughs> Right behind me, you can see a house that was built in the permafrost. And after a year or two of it being there, it sunk so much that people had to kind of not live there anymore. There are other houses like this one next to me that is also bowed down. People still live in it. But you can clearly see that this thing has sunk over the years. This ground probably only has two feet of solid dirt before it gets to the ice and to the permafrost. So like every year when that gets frozen and it expands, the road just keeps on getting wavier and wavier. So yeah. don't give the road crew such a hard time. Yeah. Look at these walls. This is so cool. It just 
frozen dirt. Check it out, don't touch it. Yeah, don't touch this it. This is grass right here. Somehow, 15, 20,000 years ago, this was like sod and it got flipped over and then winter came and it froze it. And then over thousands of years, like I can even see ice, like a little ice wedge down in there. This stayed here and I know it might look, look a little yellow on camera. Yeah, but like, look at that piece of grass. It's, it's kind of green. Once you look really it's close, it looks green. Down this way, guys, they actually went all the way until they found bedrock. It's too greedily and too deep. Kind of what they found is that it's not worth the effort to dig through permafrost to get to gold. It's a lot easier to start from up above and go to where they can find it. But it's still cool that we have this tunnel here. This is permafrost. We're learning science today. What's inside the permafrost? What's inside the frozen ground in Alaska? Cool stuff. It is cool. Really and now cool. my hand is frozen. Don't okay, Lincoln, that. That. let's get out of this place. Look at the door. Look at all that ice on the inside of the door. Permafrost is super cool. Did you ever think you would say that? No. We just walked back in time before there were even humans on the earth. Yeah, and, and like I felt that sand and it was so fine. It was crazy. Yeah. Okay, so earlier today we looked at dirt. 35,000 years ago. It was 35,000 years ago. Well, 54,000 years ago, the first man to carry this group lived in southwestern Asia. Essentially, my family is older than dirt. <laughs> At least that dirt. Thank you to 23andMe for sponsoring this video. This is a Father's Day present that we are giving to Leslie's father, Lincoln's grandfather, Bill. 23andMe provided us with his DNA results. It's a really individualized present that is super cool. If you'd like to take advantage of the Father's Day promotion, take a look at the link in the description. We have a special one for you. It's 23andMe.com slash what's inside. And what 23andMe does is provides a way for you to look at the 23 chromosomes that are in your body so that you can see what your body is made up of and see what your history is. Time to see the results. We have them right here. Let me give you a few numbers because I think this is interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the big one for last. Eastern European, Poland, you are 15%. Oh, really? Poland. So Austria, Poland, Germany in that area though. Germany is 17.9%. Okay. 24.8% British and Irish. That's on my mother's side, the Harrington's and the Harrington's. The Harrington's go all the way back to King James and back beyond that. You were 99.9% .9 European. Yeah, 99.9? 99.9. .9. Well, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically European. That's cool. 99.9%. .9%. That's English, crazy. 99.9% .9 European. Hmm. I, th I was surprised by that. I mean, that's right. that's a lot. It's Since... very interesting. They have a lot of details in here. So 23andMe is pretty awesome. Each person in the world has a different genetic makeup. Give them some love and click on the link in the description at 23andMe.com slash what's inside. We learned a lot about the world today. Woo! Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something it's down there. about then science the today. Do you have detached earlobes? Detached earlobes. I don't know. Do I? Um, actually, I don't think they are. Mine I are attached. If they like, if they have like a little bit of skin no, attached. Yours are detached. Too. No, mine are attached. Uh, I did a whole school are, project are, on it. Let's see, I can undetach no. them. Ow.